So basically, we're almost out. Normally, we would run to Tractor Supply and get some feed. Well, we're not going to be going to them anymore. So now, I have to find a feed supply store and make some. So what I did is, I actually went to a, um, we actually went to New Holland. We went out toward the Lancaster area because we're looking into buying half of a cow because we also see the prices of food as well. So the lady told us it was going to be between three to close to 500 depends on what we get so uh we're gonna uh, look into this so what i did is i went to a grocery store there in new holland i got some uh wild bird food i got some dark oil sunflower seeds which is good for them and then i was so surprised that they had this they actually have cracked corn and you can see that it's small enough for them and unfortunately they didn't have a bit bag so they want to be loud be quiet so um that's my son standing there in the coat so and then i also found this which is oat groats so it just excuse the roosters i don't know what their problem is so I also found oat groats. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing all of this up. Now, I thought the chickens were going to be down and out, but they're not. This is wild bird seed from last time that we have. He does not like the fact that I'm out here talking. Be quiet, T'Challa. So uh, I'm just going to mix what I have into this. But I didn't know that this much was low, so they're not going to be that bad off. But we are going to have to go on the weekend and go to a feed supply store and get them food. So, um, I'm just going to start uh, mixing this in now. I'm going to add the oats in here. So, you can see why I need to find a feed supply store because buying it like this is going to cost us a lot more money as, a, as opposed to going to a feed store. This one small bag was like mm, 1.19 pounds, 371. So yeah, it's gonna be better for me to go to a feed supply store and, uh, instead of buying these small bags. But this is what I have to do for now, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know about you guys, but half of the time these little strips on here don't work. So now we're adding in the cracked corn. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure you all know that chickens are birds, so you can actually buy uh, the chickens uh, bird seed. You don't have to just, you know, you can buy bird seed and mix it with other things, which is what I'm doing. And this, these uh, groats actually smell really good. And I picked the groats because it's really small. And I'm also just going to be making them oatmeal. I usually start making the chickens, uh, like getting up in the morning, cooking them the uh, the five-minute quick oats. I usually do that in the winter anyway to give them something warm. Look, they're being nosy. Looking to see what I'm doing. All right. So then now we're going to add, uh, we're going to add all the small stuff first. So we're going to add another bag of corn. Now, I wish I could show you this guy's just why it was empty, but I did not want to fall over into that garbage can, so of course, I'm just using this one, so it'll be easier for me to mix. Now, what I'm going to do now is I up pretty good here. That oatmeal actually smells really good. This is just a, a kid's spade when my kids were younger. All right. I'm going to all sit on top of each other. So that's actually pretty good. So now I'm going to add in. Whew. Starting to get a lot cooler out here. Now when you're opening this, and that's just common sense, you don't want to, you want to be over the barrel. I know you guys know that. Sometimes people just, we don't think. All right. So... That's about three bags of cracked corn, so this is the last bag of that. I 
Oh, now he decides to be quiet, which is great because he is so noisy. All right, so, uh-oh. Lost a spade. Story of my life. All right, found it. There's Talon. Yes, I'm, I got you some more food. I just give him a little bit as I'm going because she's being real nosy. Now, to be honest, I think they prefer this more. So I don't think it's going to be, you know, they're going to mind much that once we switch from the feed. That's got to make sure that, you know, it doesn't mess with them laying eggs. We're still going to start laying eggs less now because it's getting colder. So that was going to happen anyway. All right. So now I'm going to add in the, the bird seed. Uh. And I don't know this company, but the bag say Browns. Like I said, we were in New Holland. So, all right. I'm going to add in the sunflower seeds now. <laughs> Woo. That was a lot of sunflower seeds. All right, so. Yeah, I keep losing my scooper. All right. Mix this in. Are you getting this, son? Son, are you getting this? My youngest song is my cameraman. Because I still have not bought myself a tripod. I don't know why I still haven't done it. I'm actually going to get this bigger scoop. This mixes a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. You don't want everything sitting on top. Uh, smells really good. Okay, so now we're going to add in the uh, wild bird. Food. Yeah, I'm going to add in the whole thing. Oof. Also has sunflower seeds in it. Oh That's half of it. So I'm gonna add the rest of this to the little chicks' food because they have gotten a lot bigger. So that is how much that came out of these items. So we had one bag of dark sunflower uh, seeds and. You guys can go and look up the good benefits of that. It does have a 16% protein and a 16% crude protein, 30% of crude fat. So you don't necessarily need feed. I think we just got hooked on that because of the convenience. So I do need to find this in bulk. It will be a lot cheaper, but that was the black sunflower seeds. And then I added almost all of the bag, 75% of the bag of this wild bird food, which looks just like this. So basically, it looks like this. It's got cracked corn. I don't know what the other things are and some sunflower seeds. So, and then I added three bags of, uh, I added three bags of this, which is cracked corn. And then I added three bags of oat groats, which were still cooked, which is the smallest I could find. And I got all of that in there. So guys, that is how you do it. So I think I'm going to be okay. Actually, I don't think, I know I'm going to be okay not being able to go to uh, track the supply. I don't want to support indifference, evil. And I know a lot of people are going to have different opinions. Well, well, that's your opinion. That's your business. This is my opinion. This is my business. But just know, you can make your own chicken feet. So, bye guys.